I'm Hannah Hall, number 10, a junior guard on the UB women's basketball team. Dillard, pump fake, Hall, sets her feet, fires, yes! I want to say I was like eight years old. I was really young when I started playing. I played both soccer and basketball. I just love uh, the team environment. Um, I mean, at that point, I was so young, but it's so much fun to be around like other girls and other kids your age at that time and just be able to play sports and stuff like that. I'd say since I played overseas coming before coming here, it wasn't as hard of a transition because I was used to a lot bigger players. Playing for the national team, honestly, has helped me so much as a point guard. All at the top of the key. She's going to square up a deep three-pointer, drills it. Oh, Hannah Hall gives the Bulls the lead here in the third quarter. I think it was hard at first for me to be a leader. I was still trying to like find my feet, get, get myself going. For me, being a point guard my whole life, you're expected to be a leader in any situation that I can take and grow from is huge. Last year I had to learn how to be a leader with senior with, on a senior-led team, which is hard to do when you're an underclassman. But being able to be a leader this year and bring in some freshmen that don't have this experience is going to be really big for me. But there was something on my spirit that was telling me that it was really time to tell my story and to, to help other people. I've always been a leader and the type of person that, that helps others and I thought that Maybe if I'm struggling right now through this and being able to help others with their struggles or maybe help them realize before they um, get to the point that I was at that they could use that to help them. Um, my video, the point of it was for student athletes to realize that you can struggle with mental health, you can struggle with depression, anxiety, or any other thing. It doesn't have to even have to do with, you know, mental illness or mental health. Get into this game, man. The more you give to this game, this game will repay you in so many ways. You can't even, you can't even receive it all. If I had to describe Coach Jack in one word, it would definitely be inspirational. What she's gone through, where she's come from, her story is incredible, and that's inspiring for me, knowing that someone like that could make her life the way it was and turn around her life the way it was is inspiring for me. She's a phenomenal woman. I think that's the best way of describing her. And um, phenomenal women inspire others, and that's what she does. She isn't, she doesn't stand on her own. She doesn't stand on her own pedestal. She, she won't stop until she um, raises us to be phenomenal women, both on and off the court. Since I saw those Olympic rings, I've always wanted to, to be able to be there and do that. That's always going to be my goal. Um, I'm going to work towards that for until I can't anymore. I kind of want to start doing some stuff even before I hang up the shoes. Um, I want to help athletes as much as I can, um, share my experiences, my struggles. Um, we're going to put our heads down and work. That's how we're going to get there. We want to be a Final Four team. That's the goal. Being able to have fun through it all is, is really important too. Um, if you don't love it, you can't do it. So I think it's important to have fun through it. And we've really started to do that, which is good.